Hello everyone. Welcome back to Lynn's Homestead. Beautiful, beautiful. Tuesday morning, 58 degrees. It's about probably around 9.30. Got out here a little late. I like to work when it's a little warm. So what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be using these clamps. I already got one installed just to kind of hold this thing in place. It's so simple. You drill one hole. You just drill a hole through this into the concrete. Then you take a hammer. I may use a heavier hammer later on, but nothing wrong with the little one. Then you take this anchor, and I got a, uh, what size socket is this? Well, it's an eight millimeter. You slide it over it, and you hammer it into the wall, and you take this off, and you hammer the nail in flush. I got one in there. They don't move. I'm gonna show you how I do it, and if you like, uh, uh, doing working with concrete and these work with brick and of course the masonry bit whatever size this is is quarter inch I actually got a three pack of the impact uh, you know masonry bits it's like $18 sure beats spending you know nine dollars for one and it's a uh, Bosch brand so without further ado let me get you set up we're gonna put one down here in the bottom um, I'm going to try to put one up on top. I at least want to put three in here, but I got to get to where I'm on the block, not on the joint. Well, let's get the thing set up, and I'll show you how it works. See if I can't get you in a little closer and give me a little bit more room to swing this. Hopefully you can see that. I gotta stand up the hammer. Make sure this thing is level. And then we and that's it. I'm gonna do that everywhere else when I get when I get done, I'll bring you back. And you know, guys, like I said, there was a bow in this one panel. Now, first of all, I got these anchored. And they don't let up. Now this one wasn't too hard because it uh, wasn't that bad. The way they banded these things together, one panel was pretty bad. So I got it strapped to there. I started the strap there. Amazing enough, this thing is square. Don't look like it, but it's actually square. So, because um, I checked the squareness there, and it's like, well, it's square there. But use the forks to press this down flat. 
so I can get an anchor in there. And then uh, when it comes up here, I might have to use Tapcon screws because I can put my hand in there. That This wall, let's see if I can't show you. This wall, actually there it is. But the wall, it, the way they set it, it's inset. It's not, you know, it's not plumb going up. But anyways, I'll uh, report back when we uh, get some more done. All right. It is anchored. And this thing is solid. Now, it might not look it, but I did measure with a square, and this thing is square. So I'm trying to figure out what did I do wrong with the concrete. But anyhow... Let me show you what I did on the one end. Now, you see where I used the tractor to bring it down. So, I got a clamp. Actually, no. I'm sorry. I still got more to do. I got this one panel to go. Yeah, but that only take five minutes. But anyways, I wanted to show you. Got one there. Pushing it down with the tractor. There. On the end, so there's three. I was going to use two, but being that the... Uh, the way the thing was now you remember the gap I had well I didn't have only about an inch and a half there was no way to push this thing in so I used uh, Tapcon screws Tapcon screws I had were way too long so I just put a bunch of washers on this is solid it ain't going nowhere I mean it's weird because I'm sitting in here and go boy this this would have made a nice little garage I mean really but it's for chickens so after I get that one little thing done I'm probably gonna call it a day because I gotta do some other measurements and um, try to figure because what's gonna happen on the top of this will be closed off and let me show you what with okay guys this is gonna be the roof um, that side of it the other side will actually have like a regular wooden roof and I don't think I'll use metal I'll probably use that PVC panels because uh, I want to let light in for the chickens but I don't necessarily want to um, you know shade them that much but this was an idea now what's it gonna take to get it up there I got a plan. I got a picture in my head, like every other thing I had was a picture in my head and not so much measurements. Maybe if I would have wrote some of the stuff down, maybe the form would have turned out better. But anyways, that's all we're going to do today. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday day because I got a full day of things to do. I'll see you in the next one.